Hello, Lily here. Today we are starting with Class Three, Chapter One of your SST textbook. The name of the chapter is The Sun and Its Family. Solar System. Our universe has many galaxies. A galaxy is a collection of stars and planets. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way or Akash Ganga. Our solar system is a small part of this galaxy. It consists of the sun and the eight planets. The sun lies at the center of the solar system. It is a huge ball of hot gases. It is the only body in the solar system which, with its own heat and light, this is the Milky Way galaxy or Akash Ganga. The eight planets of the solar system are. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury is the smallest, and Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Mercury is closest to the Sun, whereas Neptune is the farthest from the Sun. Now, stars. We see many stars twinkling in the sky at night. A star is a ball of hot, burning gases with heat and light. Of its own, the sun is also a star. When we look up at the clear night sky, we notice group of stars in different patterns. These clusters of stars are called constellations. Key terms of galaxy: a constellation of stars and planets. And constellation means a group or cluster of stars forming a definite. Pattern. The largest constellation is Hydra, the water snake. Some other constellations are Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, and Orion. This is Ursa Major, and this is Orion. Planets. We already learned that there are eight planets in the solar system. All the planets move around the sun in a fixed path called orbit. The planets have no light of their of their own. They get heat and light from the sun. The Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is the only planet which supports life. Table one point one features of the planets. The features and the planets. Planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Planet farthest from the sun is Neptune. Hottest planet in the solar system is Venus, and coldest planet in the solar system is Neptune. Satellites, just as planets revolve around the sun, a satellite revolves around a planet. The moon is the natural satellite of Earth. It is the Earth's nearest neighbor. The Moon or any other natural satellite does not have light of its own. The Moon shines because it reflects the light of the Sun. The Moon orbiting the Earth. Our universe is a vast space. Scientists have created and sent many artificial satellites into space to study and gather information about the universe. Today we know a lot about the universe, but there is still a lot more to be discovered. Did you know the largest planet Jupiter has 79 known moons revolving around it? The key term, orbit, is a path along which the planets revolve around the sun. Satellite means a celestial body that revolves around the planet with no light of its own. Reflex means throws back heat or light. Artificial means human made. Recap A galaxy is a collection of stars and planets. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way or Akash Ganga. The solar system consists of the sun and the eight planets. A star is a ball of hot burning gases with heat and light of its own. 
A cluster of stars is known as constellation, for example, Orion. The planets have no light of their own. The moon is the satellite of the earth. Now, just these two pages. Yeah. The sun. If this will be the sun, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is the smallest planet in the solar system. It takes approximately 88 days to complete one orbit around the sun. The next planet is Venus, is the brightest planet in the solar system. It looks like a bright star in the sky. It is also known as the morning star and the evening star. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. The next one is the Earth. The Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is the only planet which supports life. It is also called the blue planet because of the huge amount of water on its surface. It takes almost 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is also called the red planet because of its reddish appearance. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter takes almost 12 years to complete one revolution around the sun. The great red spot, which is a spinning star, is one of its famous features. This is the red, great red spot. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. It has beautiful rings which are made up of ice, dust, and rocks. Uranus is a very cold planet. It is mostly made up of icy materials. It has faint rings. And Neptune is the coldest planet in the solar system. Like Uranus, it is mostly made up of icy materials. It is the only planet which is not visible to the naked eye. Now, let's complete the exercise. A. Identify these planets and write their names in the space provided. This is Earth, this is Jupiter, and this is Saturn. B. State whether these sentences are true or false. Number one, the sun is a planet. False. Number two, planets have their own light. False. Number three, there are 10 planets in the solar system. False. Number four, artificial satellites gather information about the universe. True. Number five, Neptune is the farthest from the sun. True. Now let's go for the question and answers. Question number one is, what is the sun? The answer is, the sun is a huge ball of hot gases. It lies in the center of the solar system. Number two, name the planets in the solar system. The planets in the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Number three, define constellation and give an example. A group or a cluster of stars forming the definite pattern and the examples are Hydra or some major union Orion sorry number four how does the moon get its light answer the moon does not have its own light it gets light with the help of the sun's reflection number five what is an orbit the planets move around the sun in a fixed path. This fixed path is called an orbit. And here was the question about think and answer that what would happen if the planets stopped moving around the sun? If the planets stopped revolving around the sun, everything would just become still and the planets would start falling towards the sun due to inward law of gravity. Now, 
let's move to the home book let us not wait yeah so the bird sheet number one is telling choose the correct answer the vast expanse of space is called the universe our galaxy is called the milky way our earth is also called the blue planet the path on which the planets move around the sun is called the orbit there are planets in our solar system eight what is the universe made up of the universe is made up of galaxies a galaxy is a collection of stars and planets. Name the smallest and the largest planets of our solar system. The smallest planet is Mercury and the largest is Jupiter. What is an orbit? An orbit is a fixed path along which the planets move around the sun. Why is the Earth called a blue planet? The Earth is called a blue planet because it has 70% of water on it and appears blue color. Name the Earth's natural satellite. The moon is the Earth's natural satellite. Write three points about the planet Earth. Number one, the Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Number two, it is the only planet which supports life. And number three, Earth is also called the blue planet. So we are done with chapter 1 and if you enjoyed my video, do like, comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.